Now what's up you guys today we're going to be installing these leaf spring helpers on the Toyota pickup and the reason is because we added a camper and we installed the uh, three inch drop leaf spring from Beltec but these, this camper is pretty heavy so it lowers the truck a bit and it bottoms out quick so we decided to pick these up at AutoZone they were like 37, 38 bucks you can install it two ways as a leaf spring helper or traction control for the wheel hop or to help with the sag so it's just these two. We already sanded these down a bit on uh, these plates because we don't want it to show too much. We're going to spray paint them black or flat black. So let's get over there to spraying outside and then we'll throw them on. And they have three settings. So if you don't put these little pins, it's up good up to 500 pounds. So if you put them on the first setting, it's a thousand. And if you put them on the second setting, it is, I think, 1,500. While we wait for the leaf spring helpers to dry, let's jack up the truck. So we're gonna try to get it from the diff and get it get the weight off of the leaf springs. Okay, so we got this with like three or four coats of paint. We already put this bolt in through the back. We put the first nut. All right, so we got it in here and we have to put it all the way back here. This little pad is gonna be riding on the edge of this leaf spring just because um, we don't want it to hit all the way to the leaf spring perch. And also we have this like rivet right here that holds this pack in place. And these leaf springs are good with no weight. Like they're really good. But since we have the camper, you know, it's understandable. These are three inch uh, drop leaf springs. So they're not gonna be the same as stock. So now we have to put the U-bolt through here. And we're not gonna use the pin because we want it on light load. We ran into a little issue so that river right there is preventing this white pad to sit on this leaf spring so what i think what we're gonna do is just hit it with the grinder not all the way down but at least to where that pad could make some contact with the leaf spring so let me pull out the grinder and do that real quick all right so this is how much we took off it's not pointing anymore and the pad doesn't contact this piece, but it's closer than what it was. So we're just going to leave this like that and we're going to give it a coat of paint. And then I'll throw this back on. All right, so we got this side installed. Uh, this is sitting as close as possible to this piece. So the pad is as close as possible to that. And uh, we just want to have some space right here. And either way, even if we put this all the way to the front, it was gonna sit exactly on this. So the helper actually comes in contact with the rivet, but it's fine, we're gonna leave it like that for now. Uh, these are 13 millimeter bolts, we just uh, tightened them together. So there's one here, one here. And that's what it looks like. So now we're gonna go to the other side, start grinding off the rivet on that side, and then install the leaf spring uh, helper. So remember we didn't use the pin on any of these because we wanted the light load all right so the truck is sitting about quarter to a half an inch taller than what it was and we kind of did the bouncing test on it and it doesn't feel too stiff we're gonna drive it once we do the adapters in the back yeah that's it for this video Follow us on Instagram at yonke underscore OXC Films. I'll leave that in the description down below. And we'll catch you in the next one.